pen from Monteverde that I think is very interesting. It's a pocket pen. In fact, I have all three of them here with me right now. And what it is, it's called the MVP by Monteverde. And what the MVP stands for is, it's, it's actually quite simple. Monteverde pocket for being a Monteverde pocket pen. And so that's what these are. These are little pocket pens. And let's go ahead, they come in this really interesting uh, kind of artistic box. It kind of looks like, it reminds me of the work by Ellsworth Kelly, who was a minimalist artist. And that is exactly what these pens are meant to be inspired by, by the minimalist movement of the 1960s and early 1970s. So, uh, you know, it's a movement that not too many people really respond to very well because, I mean, it's, you know, some of the artworks were so simplistic that, you know, people, of course, their typical response, oh, my toddler can recreate this, but that's a whole art historical lesson that we're not gonna get into right now. So I'm looking at the box and yes, it does evoke the artworks of Ellsworth Kelly. Look him up. He was actually, uh, the guy was uh, creating minimalist artworks, but he was actually a guy that was abstracting. And so he's he's actually has a very interesting story um, that I appreciate. So the pen comes in this Monteverdi plastic box like this and which is very similar to how the Ritma pen comes. So let's open it up. And it's in this nice little velvety bed. So this is the first pen and this one's called Blue Squares. Underneath the false bottom, we have, this is the little chart that has like the whole collection on there. So you can, uh, I could actually, I could probably spend like an hour looking at this. I know it's, kind of crazy but it's true and let's see we've got the Monteverde USA and it says a world of luxury and innovation and this is basically your limited lifetime warranty and what else so we have it's a fart, fountain pen refill instructions so because of the size of this pen it's actually only designed to use cartridges so there's no i mean i guess it i actually think it's too small to even house like a caveco cartridge you know, converter system uh, but what they do include in here are two extra cartridges and there is one inside of the barrel which we will take a look at in a second then also on the back of these instructions, you've got this little story of this, you know, how the MVP by Monteverde came about and what it's inspired by, which I just explained to you. I'm gonna get the rest of the pens out of their boxes so we can take a look at them. So let, bear with me for a moment. This one is called Red Puzzles. Red puzzles. I guess that could apply to the minimalist being considered by some critics as theatrical and over the top. And finally, we have this one is called this one's called Green Abstracts. Now, being the art historian that I am, because I am, I'm looking at these pens, and I mean I could kind of see where they were going with this minimalism idea. Uh, but the thing to me is that the material, which is a, it's a really cool looking acrylic. I like the marbled acrylic, the, uh, you know, or cracked marble, whatever you want to call it. I really like the look of these. I think my favorite one is the center one, the blue with the pinks and the dark blues. I think that one's pretty nice. But to me, I look at the material and it's so spontaneous. It reminds me more of abstract expressionism, but that's just me. You know, I'm talking like, you know, hap not haphazard, but paint application by the likes of Willem de Kooning um, and let's see, I'd say Jackson Pollock, but this is, this is not Jackson Pollock. But anyway, I mean, I'm holding this up to something inspired by someone who's considered minimalist like Ellsworth Kelly and next to this. And I mean, it kind of goes, but like I said, I'm thinking more abstract expressionism from the early 1950s to late 1950s. So that's just me my two cents so whatever now let's take a closer look at these so they are tiny 
But the cool thing about this pen is, I mean, look, even when you take the cap off, <laughs> it's really tiny. It's like American doll size. The cap actually posts to the back by screwing this on. And of course, you know, I'm gonna have the, the issue that I do have with uh, some of these pens where the clip doesn't line up with the nib. I'm very, I'm very nitpicky about that sort of thing. And I, I've tried this with all of them. Uh, let's try it with this one and see how, yeah, this one too. So I've tried it in all kinds of different ways to post the cap to the back of the pen. And uh, I just, I can't get it to line up. I just, I can't, I want to. I would really like it to line up because I think that would be visually pleasing, um, but I just, I can't. So the caveat is when I'm writing with this, the clip hits my hand and it could be a little annoying, but for the purpose of this pen, and as small as it is, this is a pen that I could throw in my purse and have it handy when I need a pen to use. And you know, if I need to write something down real quick, I could do that, but I could not handle long writing sessions with that clip hitting my hand. So that's unfortunate. Now, one of the cool things about this pen, and let's take the section up out of here. So it does, there's one of the cartridges. Now, there's no metal section. And what that means is that you can get a little silicone grease and you can eyedropper this pen. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. What I'm, I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna eyedropper probably two of the pens and I'm gonna actually put a cartridge in one of the other pens. So that's what I'm gonna do with these because I mean, the cartridge is cool. And if you're into cartridges, if you don't mind getting ink within the barrel, then you can eyedropper it. But that's, I'm gonna to totally do that because why not? The nib that the pen comes with is a German steel nib by Schmidt. And it has a plastic feed. And all the pens I have with me are all medium nibs. One thing I didn't show you was the finial. The finial actually has, it's etched into it. It says Monte Verde USA and it has the little mountain in there. I don't know if you can find, move it with the light reflects off of it, sort of. So if you're wondering where the Monte Verde logo was, that is exactly where it's located. And I like that because it's a little more subtle. I appreciate the, su the subtlety of it. And, um, but it's there and it's etched in. So, and it probably would have been fine. Like even if they etched it into like the, the barrel here or the, the bottom of the cap, that would have been cool. So, and the clips is a bit, it's a bit stiff. That's okay. Like I said, this is something you could keep like in your pocket or you could keep it in your purse and it'd be ready to go for, you know, if you need to write down anything. So yeah. Okay, well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink all three of these pens up and perform a writing samples. And I'll be inking them up with a trio of, let's see if I can grab them here, private reserve inks that I think color coordinate with these pens rather well. Thank you very much. All right, well, let's get to it.
Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Monteverdi MVP pens, the Monteverdi pocket pens, if you will, made out of really beautiful acrylic material. So, you know that nibs write pretty good. It's a Schmidt nib. I have had experience with Schmidt nibs from previous pens and these perform just as good. So I think it's a pretty decent pen for your pocket. The MSRP on each of these pens is $35. So $35 a piece. I think for that price, it's not so bad. And you can also find it at several retailers. As of right now, the pen is on sale and you can find them for under $30. At some, I checked Pen Chalet, Gold Spot. A lot of these places have the pens on sale for under 30 bucks. So you could actually get all three of them for under 100 bucks. And if you add a coupon code, you can get it even cheaper. So, like for instance, at Gold Spot, if you use the code ROY, and that's for the Penboy Roy Pentertainment Show, that's their code. Use ROY ROY, get 10% off. Also, you can go over to Pen Chalet and use the code good words to get 10% off of the pens as well. So you can't beat that, you know, it, they're a lot of fun. I, you know, I like little pocket pens just to keep in my bag. And so these will totally fit the bill for what I need them for. Also, as of today, today is the 17th of June of 2021. I'm actually doing a giveaway on my Instagram account uh, for these pens as well as the inks that I used in today's video. So one winner will be randomly selected a week from now to win these three pens and the three inks that I used in this video. So go to my Instagram account, find out how to enter. There is a main post for this. And I guess that's all I got to say about this pen. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope that this review was helpful and that's how the ink flows.